for the second part of, part of the coursework for the database systems course, I've asked you to make some changes to a database that I've supplied. The database I've given you is um, the guest house one, and you can get it from that location. And you need to make some changes so that we can record payments. And we're going to imagine that the change you're going to do is to add a column to the guest table so that we can store the credit card number of the guest. This isn't the right answer. It's not something you want to do, uh, but I want to show you how we can approach the task. So the server we want to get to is called INF08104, uh, but we can't get to that from outside the university. It's blocked by the firewall. Uh, you do have access, though, to software8.napier.ac.uk. Two tools we're going to be using are PuTTY and WinSCP. Let's open PuTTY first. So my username is 4436, and that is at sockweb8.napier.ac.uk. And as soon as I get onto that server, I'm going to go straight to SSH 400036 at INF 08104. So that's the server I want to get to, uh, but I'm going to do it via this server. Let's see if that works. So it's come straight in, asked me for my password. This is my normal Napier password uh, using Active Directory. And I type that in, you'll notice the commands don't get echoed. And that's taken me into the server, and from there I can go into MySQL, for example, your MySQL command. MySQL, hit tab, that gets me into MySQL, and I can create tables there. I'm not going to do that just yet, so I control D to get out of that. I need to get hold of that file, wget. Let's just copy it. So, wget, this is the file I want. So I'll copy that, and I'll right click paste to get that file. And to load that file into MySQL, I can do MySQL and take the input from guest house. That will take a second to complete. And I should have all the tables. So if I go into MySQL now, I can do show tables. And we'll see those familiar tables that you've been working on. Spell that wrong. Show tables. So there are the tables you used to, and you can see that table guest, that's the one I want to change. If I say describe guest, you can see that has got four columns at the moment, and we want to add a fifth one, we want to add the credit card details. And I could type in the command right here, also table. But I don't want to do that. Um, if I do that, uh, chances are I'll change the database, but the thing I want you to hand in is the command to, to make that happen. And so what I want to do is to create a file and run that file. So I'm going to make a file called change.sql. That's the file you'll hand in, and we're going to test to see if it works um, at the command line like this. WinSCP is what we use if we want to use an editor from Windows. I'm going to make up a new session. Uh, I've got advanced options here, notice. Uh, so a new session, and the machine I want to get to is INF08104. And I'm going to do that through a tunnel. I'm going to connect through an SSH tunnel, and the tunnel is, um, that was sockweb8.napier.ac.uk, username, and the password. Got that wrong. So that's the, um, I've got my tunnel details, I've got my session details, and let's just put in the username here as well. I shouldn't need the password if I'm going from um, those two servers, between those two servers, but we'll try it. Okay, everything's good so far. You can click that, but it'll show you anyway. Okay, it has asked my password. And it may ask again. Okay, so now I've got a view of all of my files, and I want to make a new one. I've got several there. I'm going to make a new file, and that new file is change guest.sql. So these are the changes that I want to put in, and you're going to be submitting this as part of your coursework. Here's my new file. The command I want is alter table guest add column, and it's credit card number which will be a varchar 16. Okay, I've got one mistake there. Let's leave that mistake in just to see what happens. So control S to save that. And it's asked my password for the last time, I hope. And I want to get back to this window here. 
So going back into MySQL, I should be able to open that file. I call it changeGuest.sql, and we'll get an error. Slash dot change guest dot sql and it should run that command and there's the error message on line one i've got an error in my sql syntax and the very unhelpful message would you check the manual please check the manual please mistake i made i was i spelled varchel wrong let's save that and give it another go that seemed to work fine um, and now if i describe guest you will see that I've got that extra one there and I can put an update statement. So update guest set credit card num equals uh, 1234, 1234, 1234, 1234, 1234, where id equals, let's pick a guest at random, select guest, select id from guest. Well, let's spell select right. Okay, so 1649. ID equals 1649. So we've added a column and we've changed, um, we've updated one guest and made up an imaginary credit card number for that guest. I'm going to save that and try and run the command again. So there's that. Now, next time around, um, this fails because I c I've tried to add the column a second time, but the update seems to have worked. One thing we can do is to stop that second error is undo the command. So I'm going to have the table that I'm going to have the command that undoes uh, that adding column. So hold the table guest drop column. CC num. This is the kind of thing that you can't do in a production database when you've got real data, or not easily anyway. Uh, but when I'm in development mode, my habit is to put things back the way they were so that I can rerun uh, these commands over and over again until I get it right. Let's save that, and I should find now that it runs without errors. Three commands run, zero errors, everything's fine. This then, these then might be the commands that you submit as part of your coursework. This one is just something that you were using um, to check that everything was working okay.